If I wanted to be super pervy, I would look at this one a lot longer. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardness Prime here, doing another Masters of the Universe action figure review on the Netflix original series, Masters of the Universe Revelations Skella God. Try and get your Masters of the Universe figures, you can do so at Big, Big, Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And while you're down there, I ask you to please hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And I do have a new segment here called why give a shart so why do i give a shart about skelegod actually this figure's release is the first time i heard the word skelegod and i love skeletor so seeing this skelegod just looks cool as hell to me haven't seen him in the show yet did you see him in the trailer i think i kind of saw him in the trailer but anyway i'm excited for this figure regardless i gotta give a big thanks to my musical brother in arms charlie for finding this out in the wild for me thank you so much uh, if you don't know who he is him and i used to play in a band together way back in the day as you can see a young shardimus prime over here four latin guys in a punk rock band called the sex kittens it was awesome anyway packaging looks great right over here i do like all the cracks and everything so that's pretty neat it says mattel right down there on the side it says skull god cosmic lord of destruction and then on the back right there nice image of skull god there's a read up over here if you want to read it go ahead and pause it right now there's the other figures that will also be available i think i'm gonna have to go for them well, i don't know we'll see how the skull god is nice image right over there and then you can see on the top it says masterverse right there on the very top and then not much more at the bottom so let's get to it and crack this thing open <laughs> And here's the Skella God figure out of the packaging, and we'll talk about the things that I like and the things that I don't like, but first, let's get a closer look at the accessories. So at this moment in time, I gotta say, I think these are the perfect amount of accessories for this figure until I watch the show. I may think differently, but I'm happy to see two sets of hands right over here. We get the Sword of Grey Skull, and then we get this awesome green translucent plastic effect right here, which I think looks fantastic with this gradient green paint in it or over it. I can't tell if it's over it or in it or both, but you can see it kind of fades. It gets a little bit more opaque as you get to the end. This is very neat. And then you have the Sword of Grey Skull right here, which came out looking awesome. I especially love what they've done here with the combination of gray plastic and silver just add some depth to this sword it looks really good with the silver paint right over here and then you can see that we get the gray plastic and then the brown paint over it right there these hands look really good too you know so can't really complain about these i'm not 100 sure if this effect is supposed to go over the wide open hands or go over the more closed sword holding hands but it does go over either if you want to i guess it's just a little harder to deal with with these sword holding hands but i love how we get this nice glossier black over the more matted black for each of these hands it looks pretty cool love the detailed sculpt in here too too. One thing to note though, when you're swapping your hands out, these may come off, but this doesn't really bother me that much. <laughs> This head sculpt looks freaking sick. Now, Skeletor, again, you know, one of my favorite or probably my favorite character from Masters of the Universe. So seeing this version right over here looks really neat to me. Very interested in it. I like how they have these little tiny white dots right there for the pupils, the dry brushing over the skull and bone section right over there. Or it's skull and bone, same thing right there. Nice looking teeth. I like that there's a hint of metallic purple right here to these horns. The silver right there on the crown looks really good. I just really love this sculpted work right here man it looks so freaking awesome love the translucent green over there it really adds a lot if you have some you know green tinted lighting in it and stuff it just adds so much fun to this figure man it looks so badass the only thing is i feel like the head is shifted a little bit more forward than i'd like to see i feel like it needs to be a little bit more centered with the body like it's not following the line of a spinal column and then when you look at the rest of the figure you get all of this awesome black wash over the blue plastic looks incredible love seeing this bright green with the purple behind it love how the green looks right over here with these shoulder pads this stuff moves around it's you know very pliable material and i love that we get pinless elbows and pinless knees on this figure i mean this is really one of the dopest figures i've actually ever seen from mattel so i'm really stoked about this really a lot of cool stuff right here a lot of nice paint these gauntlets look really good nice green paint in there just so many details so many cool things to look at with this figure man 
Really liking the musculature. The sculpt on this throughout is just really dope. And then we get the dope soft goods. We get three layers right over here on the cape. So you can see we get this one right here, and then you get this one in the middle, and it has these plastic pieces attached to it and everything. So that looks really good. I like how it kind of weighs things down. And then you get this outer cape piece right here with the lighter purple and everything. So that's really dope. Then looking at the back, they still have that paint detail going throughout and everything. You can see the loincloth. That has some purple over it, even on the back of the figure right here on the front looking really good love how these pinless knees look man it's just a dope ass looking figure love that gunmetal gray right there it's more of a silver than gunmetal gray i guess for the knee pads a little bit of scuffage from him falling over i'll get into the articulation in just a moment because i do have some gripes with that but anyway you can see the skull of god toes not looking too bad and you can see that we get a serial number and peg holes at the bottom of the feet oh no this just popped off on me as i was just taking them off screen so that hasn't happened yet uh hopefully i can put this right back on uh, okay, it has these two little hooks that go over this strap right here, so that does hook back on fairly easy, so not bad. So I'm mostly really happy with the articulation, I just have problems up here and problems down there. I wish the head could look up. It's on a double ball joint, and I just, or dumbbell joint anyway, and it could just only look up that far. Wish we had a neck hinge in there. Can't look down that much. Does not shift, oh, yeah, you get some good head tilting right here, and of course I could turn side to side. Shoulders are a little bit tricky finding the hinge right here. It's really hidden in there. You can see it gets a little bit chewed up, but I do like that the shoulders can move outward. Above the 90 degree mark, they move all the way down. These straps kind of get in the way. Uh, you could rotate forward, rotate back, bicep swivel, nice double jointed elbows. All of the double jointed elbows and knees are a bit on the stiff side because of all that added paint. I don't mind that because I'm happy to have the paint so you do have to break them in all the wrists turn side to side and hinge up and down you get a decent diaphragm joint here that twists just a little bit it does crunch forward and it does move back some and it does have some decent pivoting right here and then you get a waist cut on top of it that makes me happy you get that combination hips move outward very far you can't get the legs kicking forward that much back a tiny bit you get an upper thigh cut then you get the double jointed knees again you got to work those joints but yeah nice double jointed knees right there and then these these calves on this side right here this was pretty stuck for me but you know use a hair dryer loosen it up you get rotation at the calf ankles move down they do move up he does have ankle pivot but i gotta tell you man yeah the ankles on this figure are a lot more loose than i'd like maybe they're just a bit too thin for the size of the figure so if they added just a little bit more plastic here it would be easier for him to stand but as you saw at the beginning and you'll see at the end of this video he can stand on his own on a rotating base without falling over God damn it. I measure out this Skelegod figure. You can see that he is standing very tall, right around the 8 inch mark. And for a size comparison, you can see Skelegod next to the Masters of the Universe Classics Skeletor. Thank you so much, Sean Long. Love this figure. One thing I am noticing right here with this regular Skeletor, his ankles are thicker than this Skelegod figure's ankles. And yeah, that's one reason why he falls over so much. And I don't have too many figures to compare the Skelegod next to. I will definitely be getting more of the Masterverse figures, and I do have the Battle Cat. But anyway, I want to compare Skelegod next to Skeletim from Super 7, which I picked up while I was over there. Thanks again, Super 7. I did hit up Lars saying, like, why isn't it Skela Lars? But yeah, these are all Skeletim variants. But it could be a Skela Lars, right? It's even got the hooligans on the side. I mean, it kind of reminds me of Skela Lars. That'd be neat. And Ryan said that he wanted to do one for each band member too. But nope, Rancid didn't want to do that. Just Skeletim with variants. And then here's Skelegod next to your average six-inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Hey, I heard you can make green farts. Psst, so can I. Hey, on the count of three. Ready? One. Two. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to show some love to the channel by hitting that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as a notification bell. And a big extra thanks to all these people that support this content via membership and the Tron. If you're interested for the bonus content, check it out. Link below. This figure is so much fun. Fun. I have been obsessed with this figure since I've had it. I just am really happy with what Mattel has done here. I am very impressed with their work on this figure. I haven't been this impressed by a Mattel figure in a very long time. So I am just absolutely stoked about it. There are complaints. Absolutely, I have my complaints, but they're very specific complaints, like with the ankles and with the head joint. And that's really about it. I just wish the placement of the head was a little further back and he could look up more. Wish the ankles were a little bit thicker and stronger. But aside 
from that, man. I really love this piece. It's a great figure. It's a lot of fun. And at the price point of around 35 bucks, which I don't think is too bad, I'm going to give this Skelegod figure a sun rating of... I love it! And I'd like to know what you guys think. So please let me know in the comment section below. Thanks again, Charlie, for finding this out for me in the wild. Really appreciate it, brother. If you want to see the latest in action figure news, you can find it all over at toynewseye.com. And if you want to follow me over on social media, you can find me over on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and TikTok. And I will catch you guys later. Peace! Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.